Hello everybody and welcome to their Smite gameplay commentary. Today I'm bringing you yet another random League Conquest game. So before anything actually gets underway and hopefully these teams cooperate for once, we're going to be taking a look at these team lineups for the blue team. Danilian playing Apollo as the AD carry. Monster Revel apparently playing support Hercules with the auto buy. That sprint and uh, meditate coming out. This is a high ranking. There are some master rank players coming in here. Kuma throwing out some early wars, just keeping an eye on things. Continuing with the roster. Sahajan as Aphrodite over in the solo lane. The Phoenix 123 playing Isis in mid lane. And Spectrasonics in the jungle as Freya. For the red team, Porter playing Osiris in the jungle. Challenge X playing Poseidon in the mid lane. Minions have uh, Blixty, we'll go with that. Playing Kronos in theory in the solo lane. And Archangel 10 playing Shibalanke in as the AD carry. So as things get underway, harpies are dying in the left and right camps. We have a little bit of a different start. Aphrodite is going to be helping Freya with the damage camp and the mana camp. Let's split the experience a little bit more evenly. Typically, the jungler will solo the damage camp before moving on to help the solo laner with the mana. mana. But Kumba over in the left lane taking a bit of early damage. Probably not something he wants to be happening quite so early. Gonna have to have those potions ticking away already. It looks like the red team is coming in for a potential steal on the blue buff. Cyrus is looking for it, stunned out by the kiss. The blue buff did go to the blue team. The steal not successful, they're taking a lot of damage. This fight going on in the left lane as well. First blood going over to Archangel against the Hercules. Porter picking up a kill here, and for the double kill onto Cyrus, he will not be getting out alive. However, two for one over on the right side of the map. Over in the mid lane, while we're still watching that. What? Poseidon just picking off the Isis. Right at the red team has found themselves a 4-1 to one lead on kills. Apollo forced back under the tower, gonna already be down on gold. So just stuff happening all over the map already. Poseidon heading back to, to, to base. So over in that right lane, Ch uh, Kronos is already up to level 4. Aphrodite is only gonna be level two, 3 going back to lane. Tower damage coming out all over the place, over in the left lane, still a lot of aggression coming out of the red team. Looking for the knockback, no driving strike to follow it up, monster, evil, possibly not having it quite yet, electing to go for mitigate wounds for the extra healing. As aggressive as these guys have been playing, it's definitely probably a, nece a necessity at this point. Solo lane is going to be a little interesting. Those Kron Kronos is not yet backed in by Kumba, getting quite low, under 200 health. They do horror find the Hercules kill as he retreated under the tower. So Apollo once again will be alone. Over in the right lane, gank coming out by Porter, looking for the kill on the Spectra Sonic. Once again, will be finding a kill, looking for the double to get back, will get S Sahajan out alive. They're having a rough time over there. Freya now sitting quite a bit behind, level 3 to the level 4 of Porter. Kumba finally heading back in the left lane. The mid lane fighting, fight bring out the Phoenix, looking for some damage on the Challenge X. Silence coming out, the Kraken is available still if they get down to that threshold. Circle of Protection has not been used. Actually, Isis is the only person at this point who actually has an ultimate on the side of the blue team. Here comes Porter with another gank. Kraken is out, will find the kill. Another kill onto the red team. So far, they've already found themselves an 1,800 gold lead three minutes into this game, which is pretty huge. The experience lead also at this point, already getting quite large. 2,400 experience up on the side of the red team. Pretty big level advantages as well. At this point in the game, that it's only 2,500, but that's a few levels worth of experience. Freya still hanging around on the right side of the jungle. I guess it's scared at this point going forward. The ultimate is coming out on Shibalanki. They are looking for Hercules once again, and they do find it. Apollo using across the skies to escape. Another great gang coming out of Porter already. 3, 1, and 2. The 3 minutes and 45 second mark. So 5 kills already that he has been a part of. So just crazy stuff all over the place. The item advantage is starting to show a little bit on the side of the red team as well. In addition to the starting items, they've already got some tier 2 and some actives coming out. 
Lixdeon Kronos is gonna have a missing a kill in the mid lane as well. It looks like Kumba rotating around to gank under the tower. We're gonna talk about Blixie over in the right lane. Hercules doing what he can, but level four to level six. This could be bad going forward. Shibalanka is rotating around as well. Hercules might overstay his welcome here. The stun comes out. They're looking for a kill again. There goes Hercules for the third time now. Fourth time now, excuse me. And looking for the steal onto the left side, blue cam. So the red team has found themselves a pretty good early lead, almost 3,000 gold up, and now stealing the mana buff away. So over in the solo lane, Blixie having a level 7 ad advantage, 2 level advantage over the right laners. Aphrodite looks like she just recalled back to base. So she gets to pick up her boots and some wards and all that fun stuff. This is going to be a pretty low, it's a le one level advantage. Aphrodite will be here for the next level, so not quite that big, but... Going forward, level 6 versus 9 in the mid lane as well. Blue team is massive far behind. Whirlpool coming out. Bunch of taking the ice is down to about half health. Right side blue buff has been secured by the blue team. So we're already 5 minutes, 20 seconds into the game. Down by 9 kills. Only found that one return kill on the initial level 1 invade. Looking for Monster Evil again. Hercules finally having his ultimate. That brings all the ultimates online for the blue team. Freya coming around on the right side, looking for a gank, is spotted out by a ward, will get knocked down by the groggy strike, epic uppercut coming down for the setup, they're looking to return the aggression here, Freya getting low, under the range of health, the ultimate coming out from Chipolanka, this will likely be a kill here, Valkyrie discretion coming out to avoid the stun, they're looking for the Kumba Karna kill, his passive is still up, Banish coming out, could possibly get him away, Kumba is down in his passive, this could be the second kill of the game for the blue team, they will find it out, 3v1 against Chipolanka, he is not in a good position, the Valkyrie's discretion coming out of Freya, saving him life. Shibalanke finding the return kill, looking to do what he can, not likely to be able to escape here. Sidon also rotating around, Shibalanke dropping, not able to find a second kill on the back of that. Two for one so far, the Kraken coming out, Sidon with the rotation, finding the return kill finally onto Poseidon, or onto Hercules, over in the mid lane, Poseidon, er, Cyrus rotating around, finding another kill onto Isis. Blue team doing what they can. They managed to turn around that fight over in the left lane. In the end, ended up going two for two. So all things said and done, not a lot changing on the back of that. They're also, they're also going to lose both mid harpy camps possibly. Beside actually returning to base rather than going for the right side. We'll see if the blue team is able to pick that up before they do anything else. Porter sitting in the jungle looking for a gank. He does not seem to be spotted out by a ward. Apollo being very wary about leaving the safety of his tower, though. Porter finally showing himself, just peeking around that corner. He might have been spotted out there. Do they have vision of him? They... Isis definitely caught vision of him, dropping down a ward. They're aware that he is there. So... Take a look over at the soul lane. Still a two-level advantage in favor of Kronos. As the blue team is pinging for the right side Harpy Camp. Looking for the aggression on to Aphrodite, not quite finding it. Shibalanka ultimate coming out. Fight breaking out in the left lane. Trying to box out Hercules with that full minion way. This is a bad situation for Hercules. A lot of damage from those minions. It's gonna be a close fight either way, but. Shibalanke does find the kill. Over in the right lane, Gang from Porter does find Aphrodite. Now Kronos and Fre uh, Freya going at it. Two level advantage still. Looking for a last couple hits. Poseidon's rotating around to the right lane as well. Will be a 2v1. Freya will be forced back. Looking for a little bit of extra wave clear. We'll just be retreating back to the safety of our tower for the time being. Isis checking those mid harpies, looking for the rotation and gank on the right lane. Still a two level disadvantage onto Challenge X, finding the spirit ball, wing gusts coming out. Just push them back, help Freya defend under the tower until Aphrodite has returned. Looks like Porter coming around from the back, Freya going forward, might get caught out here. Uh, Porter get, does get spotted out by Aphrodite, coming around in the jungle, the fight outside the tower. This would be ever so slightly in favor of the blue team just based on the current health, but those level advantages, the actual health amounts, are only barely in favor of the blue team. Take a look at that team UI. 
is looking to secure his blue buff. Excavate is coming out, does secure the buff. What will happen here in the back of this 1v2? Apollo, will he be rotating around? He does not want to go in on the back of that. Playing it safe as fight over on the right side, breaking out as well. Uh, Aphrodite has been dropped, Valkyrie's discretion up. Finding, uh, the Isis does find the kill onto Kronos. Porter dropping as well on Osiris, so two for one in favor of the blue team. Finding the first real victory team fight wise of this game. The kill's still sitting 5 to 16 in favor of the red team, though. Gold and experience still massively in favor of that red team. 3,200 gold lead, 7,000 experience lead. Isis throwing down some harassing damage onto Poseidon. Not going to be able to find much on the back of that. Actually, Poseidon possibly looking for a quick little bit of aggression. Perhaps not. Hercules may be looking for an opportunity over here. Hercules actually, I bumped the microphone, I apologize for that. Hercules actually kind of getting caught back up into things. Sing level 7 to the level 9 now of Hercu of uh, Kumba. He, Kumba j did just take up to 9, so not quite too far apart. Hercules will in theory level up very shortly. Freya and Kronos fighting out by the their red side blue buff. Ultimate coming out on out of Shibalanke. Looks like it was defensive all trying to get himself away from that tower safely. Mid lane. Kumbakarna zoning out Isis. Rampage! And I have no clue where that Poseidon roam over to the left lane. Finding a kill onto the Apollo instantly. Excavate coming out onto Archangel. Looking for the second kill. Monster Evil, not a great spot. One more hit will find the kill. The Whirlpool will do be all takes in the mid lane. Kumba way under the tower, zoning guys out. Over in the right lane, Kronos throwing some offensive harassment onto Aphrodite. Dropping her down to under half health. Lovely birds will be able to get her up quite soon. In the left lane, however, the red team has taken down the first tower of the game. 10 minutes, 55 seconds in. They have extended their gold lead to around f uh, 5,000 gold, just under 5,000 gold. Trying to multitask here and find the side number notes. So I want to make sure his title surge ability is in fact called title surge. We hold tidal wave also. It's similar. Not very large tidal wave. It's I mean, whatever. We'll roll with it. So taking a look at the current state of the items that the players have. All members of the red team are sitting up about 1,000 gold, so approximately half uh, one tier of an item above anyone on the blue team. Most, just everyone in the game has completed at least one item. Sahajan almost getting caught out the gang, popping sprint to get away from that. Poseidon coming around from the back. Uh, ultimate is used by Aphrodite to avoid any follow-up from Poseidon. Just sitting here waiting for this minion wave to push up, possibly looking for that right side tower as well. Isis has rotated around. And it will be a 2v2 going out as the fight breaks out at the edge of the tower. Kraken coming out, catching Sahaja's neck quite low, under 300 health. They are looking for the kills here, however. Minion wave coming forward, Poseidon doing what he can to harass without taking shots from the tower. They're looking for that tower down to across the skies from Apollo. Kumba Karna has arrived as well. Will Apollo go in? He does across the skies, does not hit. And he will be looking for that kill onto Poseidon and does find it. Epic, epic uppercut coming out. Kumba is knocked down into his passive. It is a 1v3 currently. Kumba being knocked out. Rewind coming out from Kronos will be activated successfully. He's not going to get too far away, however, as now Freya is rotating around as well. There's the slows coming out of, I believe, Irradiate was used as well. Valkyrie's discretion looking for the kill onto Kronos. Does find it so far. Three for nothing in favor of the blue team. Porter finding a kill at the last second on the Freya, but that will be four kills to one. Monster Evil has actually disconnected at some point or another as well. Shibalanke now in the back, not in a great spot. Spirit Ball landing from Isis. This could be the full deicide in favor of the blue team. Get back, Shibalanke getting low. Isis low as well. They do find the kill that will be a full delayed deicide by the blue team. They're, despite a disconnect, getting themselves back into this game. On the back of that fight, pulling the gold lead about 1,000 gold. Or, actually, looking at it. About 1,500 gold back into their favor. Experience lead also getting quite a bit smaller in the back of that Aphrodite for the first time. Having a look at that right side tower. Full minion wave there. That'll be a decent little bit of damage. No one is nearby to stop her at the moment either. 
Before I get that tower down to about two thirds health before she's forced to back off, maybe even lower. My estimate, uh, estimation skills not too good. Tower sitting just below half health over in the mid lane. Kumba and Cro uh, Poseidon looking for some aggression onto Isis, not able to find it. Actually, that mid lane tower did drop as well at some point. I'm not entirely sure when that happened, but it's not there, so I'm assuming it did. And over in the right lane, as I'm looking at the towers, Kronos did find the kill on Aphrodite. Perhaps she did stick around a little too long. That will be the third tower of the game for the red team. Your right tower is under attack. So while we can actually take a look at these items, more or less typical builds coming out of round one. Kronos going for an early Book of Thoth is a little unusual. Those stacks will be building up. He's taking advantage of that early aggression and lead coming out. Epic uppercut onto Freya. Valkyrie's discretion is available to attempt to get out. Not able to find whoever locked down in place and killed off. Taking a look at the other items so that these teams have. Chrono's Pendant built up on Aphrodite for the cooldown as well as the mana rege regeneration. Uh, Freya rushing Banecroft's Talon. Also a bit of an unusual one, going for the extra magical power and lifesteal. Not quite having the attack speed or the sticking power she would have as a typical haste and fatalis start on Freya would end up re uh, result in. Looks like over in the right lane they are looking for a gank over here onto Chrono Spirit Bolt does not connect. Wing Gust coming out, not gonna have a way to slow him down. He'll be able to just go ahead and slip his way out of there. Popping Accelerate. So a little bit of damage on the side. Does find the double stun, turning this around. Can he connect with a time rift or will the silence and stuns coming out be enough? With a bit of an early rewind coming out. Kraken coming out does catch Isis with the stun. Will they be able to secure a kill here? They time rift does find the kill onto Isis. Valkyrie's discretion is up, looking for the two kills, finding Cro uh, Poseidon, looking for the kill onto Kronos. Banish is out. That will be a second kill for the blue team. Over in the left lane, Apollo farming up under this tower. A little bit of harassment coming out of Shibalanke. Looks like Freya is now working on Hasten Fatalis. He's not going for a Wing Blade or Witch Blade, which would be unusual. Will likely be a Hasten Fatalis coming out there. Cyrus looping around to cover this wave out. He is up quite a bit at this point. He's looking for the 2v1. Aphrodite down to around one quarter health. He's looking for it. There is the ruler, Lord of the Underworld, or under, uh, I don't know what the heck it's called. He's looking for this 2v1, and he's got, got them down quite low, but hasn't found a kill. There's the first one, looking for the second get back from Aphrodite, will secure the kill, one for one, in favor of the blue team, given that uh, Cyrus was a higher level at that point in time. So overall, not a bad attempt by Porter, not able to find that the two kills though. So going for it, that will set them back ever so slightly. He does have weakening curse for that 100% healing reduction, he's not worried about the healing coming off of Aphrodite, or Isis for that matter. Isis on the left lane though, looking for the gank onto Shablanka, coming in from behind. Point Blank Spirit Ball will miss. Wing Gust coming out, as well as the ultimate from Shibalanke, the darkness stopping that chase. Poseidon now rotating around. If they continue to chase here or not back off, this could end very badly. They don't have vision of Poseidon. They know he's not in mid lane currently. Will they walk straight into this? There's the Whirlpool, there is the crack, and Beads will stop the stun from coming out. Poseidon looking for the kill onto Apollo. Will not find it, now 2v1 in the, or 2v2 in the jungle. Apollo coming back around, possibly. Chronos rotating over Kumba in the area too. Isis does find the kill onto Shibalanka. Across the sky is coming back in, is Apollo right on top of Poseidon, not... The moves, will they be enough? The Whirlpool coming out to secure that kill. Two for one so far in favor of the red team as they look to clean up, killing off Freya one more time. The stun about to come out. Nice banish, but it's not going to be enough as they do find the kills. Will be a free gold fury for the red team. They'll be extending their gold lead even further. Currently sitting up 5,200 gold. Gold fury will push that up to 6,200. I'm assuming 1,000 gold. I'm not entirely sure if it's 1,000 or 1,500. Cast, trying to cast games, I would know these things. It will be 1,500 gold, so 6,700. Looking for the kill onto Aphrodite right now. The ultimate does come out. Lovely birds trying to keep herself nice and healthy. She does make it back to the safety of her tower as the red team decides to disengage at this point. I'm taking a look at my notes. I don't actually think I have Osiris in here, so I will not know what his ultimate ability is actually called. 
bit of a mistake on my part. I really should have that in my notes. It's Lord of the Afterlife, I think. I don't know what his other abilities are called either, so we're just gonna roll with it. Got the stun, the sickle strike, the other thing, the circle, spiritual chains, I don't know. We'll roll with whatever we, whatever we decide to call stuff, we'll stick with. So we have the first little reprieve of the game. Currently sitting 19 minutes, 5 seconds in, and we have 40 kills already so far this game. So it's crazy, crazy aggressive play coming out of both teams so far. Red team still sitting up 6,900 gold, 14,000 experience in the lead. Monster Evil still disconnected at this point. Has been a 4v5 for a while, so the blue team, despite being down, is fighting valiantly as they find a kill on Shibalanka. The Kraken coming out does find the kill on Freya. Apollo will likely be able to find the return kill here, though, and still be 2v1 in favor of the blue team. See Serenade coming out, and he does indeed find the kill. Be looking for this mid lane farm, but Porter is coming up with the Osiris from behind. Will he look for the dive? No, he will not as he backs off over in the right side jungle though. Kronos getting brought quite low. Doing the wiggle, trying to do what he can to get away. Not able to, to get out, however, as the blue team finds themselves yet another kill. As they retreat back to the tower on the rotation of the Osiris. So the blue team doing what they can at 4v5. They have brought the gold lead down to under 6,000 yet again. We'll see if they can continue to turn this game back around going forward. Now, in a 4v5 situation, all, if things are even to begin with, there is a narrow window in which a little bit of aggression coming out from Kumba as Aphrodite arrives back in lane, just denying a little bit of farm. Over in the mid lane, Porter once again going aggressive onto Apollo. Freya is here as well, forced to use Lord of the Afterlife to escape, but the nice banish will lock him in place momentarily. This weakening curse is out, the slow could potentially save him. One more hit will find the kill, however. Over on the right side, looking for the aggression onto Kumbakarna. Birds will miss, silence coming out, Spirit Ball connecting as well. But they are not going to have the damage here, it does not look like to actually get, find this kill under the tower. Poseidon rotating around, this could be turned around quite quickly if they are not careful. Poseidon is here, the Whirlpool is out. Kraken is available, there it is, will connect for damage onto, no it will not, the ultimate from Aphrodite coming out just in time to save the day, circle of protection coming out as well, finding a kill onto Poseidon, Kronos is in the area, Banish coming out from Freya, will stop him for the moment, Takumba getting quite low, forced down to his passive, Kronos being forced low by Valkyrie's discretion, low health however, or back to full health, Kumba does get taken down, Shibalanke does find the kill onto Aphrodite on the back of the rotation, Blue team is winning this fight ever so slightly. Apollo cleaning it up. Shibalanke is still here, looking for the damage and aggression. Just ever so slightly outside range will find the final return kill. So three for four, I believe, in favor. I'm not entirely sure if Osiris died there. I don't think he did. So three for three overall going in favor of the blue team. I'm just gonna give that fight to them, fighting from behind as well as down a man. Managing to find the kills. As I was saying a little earlier, there's a narrow window when you're down 4v5 if things are even, at which point the reduced players on the map will give you a bit of an experience advantage going forward. That advantage, however, does uh, taper off once members that of you and your enemy team have reached level 20, the experience difference begins to narrow out and then become non-existent and then you're just down a, down a player. Right now, however, that's really not coming into play a whole lot. The only person who is... Everyone is actually kind of equal level, which is kind of surprising. I thought, and honestly, I would have thought the blue team would be a little bit further behind on experience. Apollo getting caught out here. Sickle Strike does connect across the skies, is active, and he will get out safely. So overall, the, the blue team is staying in things just on the back of that experience advantage they are getting. They don't have an actual level advantage, but it is keeping them within... It is giving them a fighting chance against this red team at the moment. We'll see going forward if the blue team can turn this back around in a 4v5. It will take a good deal of luck and a good deal of skill from these players. We'll see what happens going forward. Red team now just controlling the jungle of the blue team. Kronos getting caught out here by the rotation from the blue team. Looking for the kill onto Aphrodite in the front. The ultimate is out just on her. 
There is a fight going on all over the place. Apollo in the mid lane also getting forced back. The fight all over the place. Re re rewind from Kronos will bring him back at the full health of the side. He does find the first kill of the engagement onto Isis. Freya also getting taken down in the back end of that fight. Kuma just strolling through the tower looking to gather up some minions. The red team looking for it there now. Second, second, third gold period of the game. Second gold fury of the game. We put them up to a 80. I suck at math. 9,200 gold lead. 1,400. 14,500 experience lead. So uh, Poseidon has reached level 20 now. First player in the game. 24 minutes, 20 seconds. And the blue team. Getting pushed back on the ropes here. Middle Phoenix is exposed. Right tower is at half health. They've only managed to find the right side tower in response to any sort of objective play here. The outer towers are only worth 500 gold, so it's not a huge pickup either. That middle tower... The middle inner tower on the blue side of the map worth a lot more gold. So just taking a look at the current state of these players... Poseidon doing what he can, sitting 11-4-2 for the red team, kind of carrying things at the moment. It is only a 4v5. Freya getting caught out quite a bit, sitting 5-10-10. Ten, and 10. Still finding a lot in the way of kills, but dying a lot as well. 32 kills to 21 in favor of the red team. As uh, the red team possibly just poking around that fire giant a little bit. Oh Aphrodite does... Get, well... I'm really getting caught, just kind of fighting a little bit. Fight breaking out in the mid lane. Poseidon getting caught, getting brought low. Apollo will find the kill. Circle protection getting popped a little early. Aphrodite zoning out two members on her own. Osiris doing what he can. The ultimate coming out from Shibalanke will not be enough to save him. Aphrodite making it out in the back. That'll be another team fight going in favor of the blue team, finding two kills for nothing. Aphrodite doing a great job there, dealing with two members chasing her through the jungle. Freya getting caught out here, though. Shibalanke looking for the kill. Will find it, but two members are Apollo answering the kill almost immediately. Now looking for the kill onto Kronos. Rewind is available if he needs to use it. Epic uppercut onto Apollo. This could be bad. No follow-up on that, however. So it will overall be one for three, well in favor of that blue team. Despite being down and behind, they are certainly not out. Minions on the left side of the map, though, are now looking for that left, juicy inner tower left tower. Juicy inner left tower. Your middle tower is under That's a attack. lot of archers right there right now. That wave will be made quick work of the fight is still breaking out here as we're watching minions. Will they be able to find another kill here? Apollo going deep, looking for Kronos. Kronos doing enough work. Rewind coming out. Will not activate in time. That will be another kill so far. Four kills to one in favor of the blue team. They're looking for the delayed D aside. Will they find it? One or two more hits will force the passive. There it is. Kumba looking for the gold or the left side harp or left side. Right side harpies to answer. It looks like he might have found one there, but at the end of the day, not worth his life or his passive. So the blue team sitting still 7100 gold behind and they are putting up a fight if i have ever seen one this is it their narrow window of any sort of experience advantage or edge is wearing out members of both teams are approaching level 20. freya a little behind sitting at level 17 aphrodite at level 19. for the red team shibalanke and poseidon both level 20. chronos and osiris sitting at 19 as well Sylvester Good sitting down level 15 as the support is fairly typical at the end of the day. Let's see what the blue team can do going forward here. Another couple good team fights like that could get them back in this gold wise. Could also set them up for a potential gold fury or fire giant. Ultimate are still all up. Switch over the team fight UI for once. Shibalanke ultimate has been activated. Freya looking for the kill onto Poseidon. Does find it. Now caught out between Kumakarna and Shibalanke. Banish not yet available. Valkyrie's discretion used. Looking for uh, uh, Shibalanke. Across the skies. Landing and connecting for the knockup. Apollo finding the kill onto Shibalanke as well. Kumba getting dropped yet again. Chrono's in the back trying to still do what he can. Look for a kill but it's a 4v1 right now. Osiris jumping into the middle of things, looking for any kind of return kill, finding a nice Lord of the Afterlife onto four people. It's not looking like it's going to be enough. The ultimate coming out, out, out on from Aphrodite. 
will at the last second find the deicide. That is a clean 4v5 deicide by the blue team. That will be a free fire giant. These guys on the blue team are just finding great team fights. The blue, the red team on the back of that disconnect playing way too aggressively, going in 3v4, 4v4, looking for quick and easy kills. The, the poor positioning and engagement choices by this red team could potentially cost them the game here. They're not going to be able to end it here, but the red team is going to be picking up some objectives. Will, if nothing else, be a middle tower. Oh yeah, on the right side map, looking for the right tower. Apollo and Aphrodite looking for some damage onto the middle tower. They may find one of them, Freya, doing some good work onto that right tower. Banish coming out for a few more hits. She will... Mighty Yawn coming out. Can Freya get away? She did find the tower here. Fire Giant Belt is still active on her. Epic Uppercut, Shibalanke coming around. It will be a 1v2 over here in this right lane. Poseidon's rotating as well. Freya, can you escape? Ultimate coming out from Shibalanke, looking for the stun. Looks like Freya will... I want to call it yet. Valkyrie's discretion is up. Isis is here now as well. Spearfall doesn't connect. Freya still up. Apollo's here now as well. This fight could get turned around. Freya still alive. The Kraken coming out just to finish off Freya. Now 2v3, gonna call this one in favor of the blue team. They're finding a second kill yet again. Isis, however, will get taken out. Still three kills so far to the two of the red team. They're also not gonna be finding that Kronos' rewind does get him out to safety. But once again, the fight going well in favor of the blue team. Things a little bit closer that time as two of them did lose the fire giant belt. Apollo and Aphrodite, though, are not done. Finding Kronos and uh, Osiris by the middle harpies. Weakening Curse is out. There will be no healing coming out on either one of them for the near future. Lord of the Afterlife finding for, uh, Aphrodite as well. Ultimate is used. They're doing what they can here. Aphro er, Apollo getting picked off. Aphrodite, the only one left. Beads used. One more lovely bird. Uh, the stun coming out. This could be the end of Aphrodite here. Still doing what she can. Can she find a return kill here? Waiting on cooldowns, doing what she can, doing the wiggle. Birds coming out too little, too late. That will be a deicide for the red team for at the cost of three of their members. At the end of the day, pretty close overall, but a big hit there to the blue team, losing their fire giant on all four of their members. But kills have been evened up. 37 to 34. It's only a three kill difference at this, difference at this point. The gold lead, only 4,000 in favor of the red team right now. That gold lead on the, before those last couple kills was sitting about 2,500 in favor of the red team. So 31 minutes, 15 seconds into this game, the blue team is certainly not done yet. 4v5, they are fighting so valiantly and so hard to keep themselves in this game. Ice is spotting Shibalanke out on the gold. Fury ultimates are up. Does force the reset. Does have a ward down there that will be aware of any other cheeky attempts by Shibalanke to solo the gold fury. Taking a look at the items across the board. No one yet sitting at full items. About four and a half, four, four and a half items across the board for all players. Red team now rotating around for the Gold Fury. Looks like they might finally have realized that they're kind of up against the ropes despite being in a 4v5, like grouping up and roaming around as a team a little more here. Kumba looking perhaps for the setup onto Isis. Not gonna be able to find it. Valkyrie's discretion is up early. This could be bad in the long run. Epic uppercut in the back. Kumba, blue team now caught out. Kronos down below half. Apollo though, dropped quickly. Rewind popped from Kronos. The early Valkyrie's discretion not affecting things in. Uh, Freya was looking for the steal. Two caught out by the mighty yawn. That will be a kill off to Isis as well. Freya and Aphrodite, the only two left standing for the blue team. Freya still looking for the kill, almost finding it onto Shibalanke though. Kumba low as well. They gotta be real careful here though. Freya down below 300 health before the birds coming out to heal her up. The Shibalanke forced back to base as the link does finally break off. So all said and done, the blue team really needs to be careful here. They need to group up, force these team fights, try to catch guys out when they can. But they have a tough road in front of them. If the red team has, in fact, decided to group up and work together as a team, it's going to be a lot harder to catch people out. Uh, pretty...
Now, for, for the blue team, I'd like to see a Witchblade coming out of them, just for the area of effect slow. It's a 15% uh, attack speed reduction. The physical power not being quite so useful against this team, but it will reduce the attack power of Osiris and Shibalanke. But Kronos is also a very heavily auto attack based champion, as well as Poseidon, when he has his... Looking at notes, Trident activated. It's like the first thing on my notes, he's easy to find. But the problem is, the blue team really doesn't have anyone at the moment to buy that. Hercules looks like he was working on it, it does have a second Ancient Blade, but Hercules has been disconnected for about 20 minutes now. For all intents and purposes, he is not going to be back anytime soon. So the blue team is in a bit of a hard place where they don't have a frontline initiator. They don't really have anyone who can effectively build Tanky to be a frontline initiator. And the supporty utility items like Witchblade, they don't have anyone to actually buy either. Isis does have Enfeebling Curse for the attack speed slow on that, but it's only available when it's used. Now caught out, this is bad. 2v4 in the mid lane, Epic Uppercut connecting onto Freya. The ultimate does come out, managed to block the Kraken. Members are rotating around, it will be a 4v5 fight going forward across the skies, does find the kill, so far one for one, Rewind getting Kronos back off to the right side jungle safely, Apollo getting low, finding the kill before he's dropped as well, Shibalanke finding the double kill there, or Kronos rather finding the double kill, so far three for two, Freya trying to do what she can, looking for one more return kill, does find it, it will be a three for three, for three. Kronos leaving Kumba alone, this could potentially be bad. Kronos does turn back around to help him out, though. Will be a four for three. So close, but red team finding the edge once again. I have a feeling if this had been a full five to five, these fights would be going massively in favor of the blue team, just the way they're going currently, four v five. So switching back, the blue team fighting ever so valiantly. Still sit now sitting about 7,000 gold behind once again. Kumba looking to solo out this middle tower. Middle Phoenix down to half health. Will anyone be up in time to go save that? Does not... They may might be able to get one here. Isis is heading middle to defend that. Chrono's doing a lot of damage quickly onto that right Phoenix. The right Phoenix will drop. Just taking a look at the current player stats. Taking a look at the damage being done. Kronos doing a lot, sitting up 43,000 damage. Freya, not one to be down and out, sitting 35,000 herself. Isis, 28,000. Apollo, 25,000. So overall, they're holding up, keeping themselves in this game. Now down the right, Phoenix as well. Mid Phoenix is at half health. Ping's coming out to kill that Phoenix. So wards are being swept out of the Fire Giant pit. They do have one more sentry available currently. Kronos is bringing it out to lane. Freya having one as well. We'll be able to counter counter ward the sentries. Freya right now though, on the other side of the map, this will be a 3v4. Kronos is not here. This could be their only saving grace. The ultimate coming out from Shibalanke. Title surge not quite connected. It will be a 4v4 going forward here if they can find some kills and turn this around. Shibalanke getting just blown up and deleted from this fight. Looking for the kills now onto Poseidon and Osiris. The blue team turning that fight around. Freya being over at that yellow buff at the wrong time. Looks like it could have been very badly. Kronos finding a kill onto Isis though. Across the skies does find the knockoff. Rewind not able to get off once again. Blue team going forward. Three men on the chase on the Kumba. He will be able to dash away shortly. But they are not quite done. Mighty Yon only catching Freya as Aphrodite chases, looks for the kill onto Poseidon. Not gonna find it. Will be a 3v2 defense at this tower. 2v3 defense, rather. Apollo going forward, though. Aggressive, looking for the kill onto Poseidon. Does find it. Now on top of him is Osiris. Looking for the kill onto Freya. Nice double stun coming out. Freya does get picked off. Linking up, the Apollo will find one more kill, and will he get away? The heal does come out at the last second. Kuma not able to find any kills before that connected. All said and done, two for four in favor of the blue team. Once again, showing that they are not out of this game yet. 38 minutes into this game, however, minions have advanced down that right lane, finding the blue team's Phoenix. These guys are fighting 
to like, keep themselves in this game at this point in time. On the back of the fight, 7,800 gold behind. I am 4v5 and I am surprised to say that we still have a game. Just looking back at that fight, it was a great initiation by the red team. Freya wasn't present, they only had Vision 2, they were looking for a quick kill on somebody. They were not able to find it though before the blue team turned that around and collapsed on top of them after they advanced past this little second entrance to the jungle. But at this point, full builds are coming out from some players. Both AD carries are sitting at full build. Actually, no. Shibalanke does not currently have any actives whatsoever. That's potentially a pretty huge mistake at this point. No beads, no Aegis, no sprint either. How is Shibalanke sitting on damage? He's, he's doing a bit of damage. But a couple times now, he, one Spirit Ball lands. He is pretty much going to get deleted at this point on in the game. Spirit Ball connecting on to Shibalanke, it's Kumbakarna rather, not the person they want to find it on. Forcing the ultimate across the skies. Apollo finding a quick kill onto Poseidon. As Freya turns a kill onto Kronos as well. Apollo can cost Apollo his life, however. Shibalanke and Osiris not part of this fight yet. It will be a 3v3 if they keep pushing this forward. Spirit Ball used there just to clear out some minions. So just kind of curious. Apollo actually going with Wrath of the Gods. That's not something you see every day. The team doing what they can as a whole to keep themselves in this. Shibalanke once again just getting deleted. Let's see if Osiris and Kumba can turn this around if they decide to continue fighting this. Right side mini wave is pushed out for the time being. Circle of protection finding the kill onto Osiris. They're looking for the deicide here. I don't think they'll be able to find it. Kumba running for his life. What will they look for here? They don't have Hand of the uh, Wrath of the Gods to go for a Fire Giant. Kumba has been dropped, however. They're going to look for this mid tower, possibly a Phoenix, and then go for a Fire Giant. We'll see exactly what they do here going forward. Mid tower has been dropped. They're looking for that middle Phoenix. We'll see if they'll be able to find it here. No minions attacking the tower. Manual Poseidon is up. Freya and Isis and Aphrodite all need to be careful. The Kraken is available. They grouped up pretty close. Kronos is up now as well. They were not able to find that middle Phoenix sitting with about 20% of its health remaining. Blue Team's Titan has actually regened almost up to full health. Phoenix, however, was dropped again by the minions. So that will be another four minutes of fire minions in that right lane. But the blue team, kill-wise, have even things up. 46 to 46, 5,200 gold. Separating these two teams, as I just thought of checking that my audio is actually still recording. Been having problems with that. Random stuff, I know. So just taking a look down at these things. Shibalanke is sitting on 11, 1,200 gold. Still not having any actives. Does he have a potion running? He does have potions running, so still a bit of a mistake coming out there. Kronos also still only sitting on one active item. But full builds beginning to come out across the board. Freya now sitting full build as well on the red team. Kumba Karna actually is sitting at six items. Not quite yet at Shoes of Focus, Reinforced Greaves, or Shoes of the Magi. We'll see if they go there. Kronos behind the Fire Giant Pit. Not gonna be seeing anything coming out of that. Freya looks like she'll be able to get out of here safely. Looks like the red team going for the fire giant now. Will they be in a position to stop this? Are they aware of it? I don't see it. Blue team does have vision on this. We'll see if they can get in there and fight this. That fire giant on top of everything else could be all it takes. Red team does find the fire giant. The fight breaking out. Weakening curse coming out. Cyrus down below half health. For, uh, Aphrodite trying to do what she can to get away. They find the kill on to, Sh uh, to Shibalanke and Osiris. They are turning this around against the red team with the fire giant. Kronos finding the kill with the spear ball picking him up as well. This is a huge win for the blue team. One kill for three so far against the fire giant and up red team. Blue team is on the hunt looking for more kills here. Looks like the Kronos, or Poseidon and Kuma Karna are going to get away as they turn their attention now towards that mid lane. Blink forward from Freya, looking for the kill on the Poseidon. Can she find it? 
she's doing what she can. Dodges. Kiss does not connect, but birds and get get back. Not gonna be enough damage there either to stop that push. They're looking for anything they can pick up at this point. The blue team has found themselves finally up on kills. 49 kills to the 47 of the red team. Gold still 4,300 in favor of the red team. Kuma doing what he can to delay this push onto the Phoenix. May not be enough, however. Poseidon still doing what he can. The minions are pushed almost all the way back. They have to watch out for that. Blue team is doing whatever they can to keep themselves in this game. Two members recalling now. Aphrodite going to s Freya sticking around as well. Looks like Isis will be the one to clear out the minions on the Titan. Aphrodite has backed as well. Freya looking to pick up a couple jungle, jungle camps here. Poseidon is on his way. This could be bad. Kraken is available. Kraken not going to pop out. He does get the, the buff secured. This could be a real bad spot. Freya Banish doesn't connect. Freya gonna get caught and picked off here, potentially. Aphrodite around with a beautiful ultimate the last second. Valkyrie's discretion coming out as well. Spirit Ball connecting onto Osiris. Apollo here now as well. Isis here as well. Poseidon and uh, Osiris just deleted from that fight. They thought they had an easy kill. The rest of the blue team arrived to say, no, no, you don't. Once again, Three members of the blue team all dropped nearly instantly. 4v3 now going forward. The red team sitting on a pat one. A, I can't even talk. Red team sitting on 60 second plus death timers. Shibalanke was sitting on a 72 second death timer at the beginning of that first death. Kronos hit up by Banish. They're all sitting there waiting for him to drop back down. That will be another kill. Kumba, the only member of the red team left standing. Kumba locked down, trying to delay as much as he can. They have turned their attention to the Phoenix. They're doing what they can to ignore Kumba Karna. They're looking for the Titan right now, ladies and gentlemen. 45 minutes, 20 seconds in this game, in a 4v5 for the past half hour. This game could go in favor of the red team. Titan is down below 25% health. They are looking to end it out right here. The Titan will fall 45 minutes, 30 seconds in. Down one member, the blue team, finding the victory on the back of that beautiful, beautiful turnaround on that chase on Freya. Looked like she had been caught out, about to get picked off. The rest of the team arriving, collapsing in, finding those all-important three kills. And the blue team just rolling from there, going down the middle lane, storming through the base of the red team, taking the Titan. That was absolutely beautifully played by the members of the blue team very well deserved victory for them congratulations to those four players just the red team the red, just too many times this game they went over just being over aggressive this with that disconnect and just not coming out on top on these team fights taking a look at these player stats three members of the blue team sitting over 40,000 damage just so much health and just all I can say is it's a beautifully played game by the blue team. I actually wasn't aware who won this. I wasn't even aware there was a disconnect in this game. And I'm sitting here about 10, 15 minutes in. It's like, oh, there's a disconnect. I hope he gets back soon. I was, I'm just going to screw this and just end it. And I was like, oh, the blue team, oh, you know, they're holding on here. <laughs> that, yeah. Wow. That's, that's all that can be said about this game. Just... Very well hard-fought victory for the blue team. Congratulations to you guys Red team better luck next time. That's gonna be it for this cast guys. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day